uh, let's move on to, I guess, to your next location, mm -hmm. uh, which you went to Germany. Can you tell us about why you went and why you decided to go? Okay. So with my program, it's not a co-op based program, but there is a paid practicum that you have to complete in order to graduate. So I decided that mm -hmm. research was a better alternative for me as I was already in Europe and I really, really wanted to stay uh, just to check out the different countries. Also, mm -hmm. I studied German, so that was a hidden bonus, I guess you could say. And I decided to attend RWTH, Aachen University in Aachen, Germany, which borders Belgium and uh, the Netherlands. So really easy to get to either or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I decided to do that because it was something that fit in with my schedule because UCL does end their term later than the University of Waterloo it would be more of a challenge to get back to Canada and start a 12 week internship. And what exactly did you do during your internship? So I was placed in the international office at the civil engineering department and basically I ran a student barometer uh, seeing how different students who are coming to RWTH Aachen uh, for their exchange or they're just international students to be in with see how not only their scheduling was different from their own university but also just the curriculum and understanding how they incorporated into German society into German life because a lot of them don't know German, uh, they have a basic knowledge. So taking courses in German or understanding uh, the scheduling in the system, uh, see how they liked it and what RWTH could fix in order to make it better for them. Mm -hmm. And what kind of people did you work with while being there? Um, so there were no other research assistants in my office per se. Uh, a lot of them were graduating already, so they were around the same age as me. Um, a lot of my colleagues were RWTH Aachen University students already, and they decided to continue their career at RB RWTH because they enjoyed it so much. Can you now tell us, I guess, what kind of accommodation did you stay at? Okay. So did you have to find that yourself, or was it through the internship? So because it's a Europe program, which is just a general program that is anywhere in the world so you can go um, to Stanford in California you can go to various schools throughout Switzerland and Germany uh, they it's basically a program through Waterloo International so they basically do everything for you you they have your accommodation figured out you obviously fill out a basic requirement requests like I would like to live with other German students, I would like to live by myself, I would like to be in the city, I would like to travel mm -hmm. to work from work um, and they try to place you in a position that you're close to not only university because you do have to take a German course uh, and a European culture course as well in order to fulfill the requirements um, as well as close to your institution where you do end up working. So they basically find everything for you so I lived in a student compound so to speak so all the surrounding buildings were students living in it and it was just a group of flats that everybody shared a kitchen and I had three other flatmates. So how is it like living I guess in Aachen? Was there food different I guess compared to even the UK? So um, Aachen is definitely a university town like Waterloo so everything is university focused um, so main thing with that is a lot of people do actually speak English it's not like everybody speaks German so if you're not fluent in German or you kind of have bits and pieces missing you can speak Danglish which is pretty much a mixture of Deutsch, German and uh, English. Mm -hmm. um, also because it is Germany everything is a lot cheaper than London uh, so cost of living and food prices especially you can go to the grocery store and just spend 15 euros for your week groceries um, compared to England where that would maybe buy you a couple snacks for the week but it's very city focused but there's definitely a uh, fix on student living and student pricing uh, also because it is so close to the Netherlands and Belgium you can just hop over the border especially on Sundays when the grocery stores aren't open you don't have any food and particularly restaurants are only open for around four hours so you just kind of hop over the border mm -hmm. head over to the Netherlands and grab a bite to eat.